Yep. Nah, bro. How you doing? Seven souls was popping. Monte Kildred was really good. So he was popping. Cosmic Nine was popping. Triple Darkness Nine, my bro. Nah, my lord. Michael Davis was popping. OG Love was really good. Ghetto Guard was populated. Nick was popping. Industry TV was really. Samuel Views was really good. Polo the Dawn was popping. Jermaine Miller, what up? John Robinson, peace. Peace to the gods. <coughs> Rest in peace, my cousin T-Roy, man. Rest in peace, my bro, Majesty Mel. You heard, it's been a lot of crazy stuff going on lately, you heard? A lot of stuff that snapped you back into a real reality. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy because I was just walking down the street just now and I just heard somebody playing that joint, that MOP sample, that here today, gone tomorrow, bro. You heard? I'm like, damn, how crazy is that, bro? Losing all type of people. And I'm just, I walk down the block, somebody just pull up on the side of me here today, gone tomorrow. Like, crazy, bro. Step of man, what's populated? Erwin R, what up? Frankie B, what's really good? They got dudes green now? What does that mean? They got dudes green? Why they got dudes green instead of blue? I never heard bang em and bang em smurf from domination joint, but that MOP joint, that shit is, that shit, that record is gruesome, bro. That here today, gone tomorrow, I was just with him. Look what them hollow to, yo, that shit crazy, bro. That song is crazy. You feel me? That shit is reality, bro. That shit is reality. <laughs> Reality. Eighties baby was popping. God wise in the building. Peace was really good. Mr. Wallace, what up? Andrew, what's really? Ted Brown was popping. Yeah, we got a real big episode dropping at 10 o'clock, man. You heard? I had to come on here and salute the peoples. I had to come on here and salute the peoples because 
I ain't been on here in a hot minute. You feel what I'm saying? But that new episode is dropping at 10 o'clock. It's a monster. It's a monster. So I need y'all to tear that up. Comment, gang. You feel me? I ain't dropped a new episode in about four, five days or something. You heard? Y'all got to slaughter that. When that episode dropped, y'all got to slaughter that. You heard? Oakland, what's poppin'? Cali, California love, what's really? Nah, bro, that name not, that name not, that name not nothing for me right now, but you know, it's a lot of, there's a lot of dudes named Dez. There's a lot of dudes named Dez that's known. Fred White, what's populating, my bro? Polo to Dawn, I appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you. If you ain't go see that new episode of the story of Pottersfield, go check that out, man. I tripped to Florida. You heard? If you ain't see that, go check that out. If you ain't see that new L Famous joint that I dropped, a lot of y'all dudes ain't see that new L Famous joint that I dropped. You feel me? You know how YouTube get down. I told you it happened last year. Sometimes, I don't know, them niggas be off point. Too many niggas hitting me up telling me, yo, I ain't get the notification. Yo, I ain't get the notification. Like, I got to get y'all shit together, lords. You heard YouTube, y'all gotta get y'all shit together, make sure shit get notifications get sent out the correct way. You heard? But man, listen, new new episode dropping at 10 o'clock. Major shit. Know what I mean, I got another major episode following up after that. It's gonna be some very major shit coming this month. And that's a fact. Very, very, very major movies coming this month. You heard? So it's always quiet before the Hi. storm. So when I'm quiet. Anytime you see me quiet, just know a storm is brewing. And that's a fact, nigga. Anytime you see me quiet, nigga, a storm is brewing. So I'm about to bomb. And you'll see very soon. I'll show you better than I can tell you. You heard? My bro wooden soldier in the building. You heard? Pottersfield OG. Wooden Soldier in the building. Troy Wright Jr. What's populating? P.K. Pakipski. What's really good? Forever Doing Me. What's popping? Yeah, bro. You know, rest in peace to all these rappers that's dying in the game, man. Shit is tragic, man. You heard? Niggas got to start. Niggas got to start switching up. All of us. We got to start switching up. I hope every all priorities, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we caught up into too much bullshit. Not mean in, in the whole fucking black culture. You heard? In the whole black world, we caught up into too much fucking bullshit, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? We caught up in too much fucking jewelry and cars and stunting and fronting and, you know, and then we, you know, we, some of us actually believe that our people love us, that our own people won't kill us. Like, is that's a fucked up myth to believe when you believe your own people ain't going, niggas be like, yo, Les, why you don't be, why you don't be in Brownsville and shit, niggas? Because Brownsville will murder me, nigga. As much as I love Brownsville, Brownsville will murder me. You understand what I'm saying? But bottom line is, my nigga, you know, we got to just, we, niggas like, niggas got to get on some next shit, my nigga. Like, all that corny shit, I ain't, I'm not coming in the game with none of that. Like, I get caked up heavy, you won't see me doing none of that, nigga. Hanging around a bunch of niggas with a bunch of jewelry on, gambling. You understand what I'm saying? Stunting around niggas because all of that shit, really, my nigga, is an inner desire need to feel like you still thugging and you still in the streets when you out the streets. So if I'm out the streets and I'm already doing good, I'm all right, nigga, I don't have, I'm not going to have no, I'm not going to feed into the need because we all have that need buried deep inside of us. If you a motherfucking nigga from the hood, you always going to have a secret uh urge to throw some crazy jewelry on and, and walk around the hood you're gonna feel that but you gotta you gotta just realize that all of this shit is dumb my nigga all of this shit is dumb stupid shit you feel what i'm saying like niggas ain't got no time for that shit my nigga you heard i want to go out i want to take my kid i want to travel with my kids my nigga you feel me i want to travel around the world with my fucking kids my nigga and see the world with my kids Know what I mean? That's what I would love to do one day. 
Get over my fear of flying and all. Get over my fear of flying and motherfucking travel around the world with my motherfucking kids, nigga. I have no urge to stun off for the hood or impress the hood or come around real niggas and niggas I was up north with and show them I'm still a real nigga and my nigga fuck all of that, bro. Because when a nigga blow your face off, my nigga, niggas ain't gonna do nothing but say, yo, he played himself for being over there. Yo, when keeping it real goes wrong. Yo, he should have knew better. Fuck out of here. So you ain't got to never listen to nobody telling you nothing about, yo, why you don't come over here? Yo, you ain't been over here. Yo, when you came, niggas be hitting me up with that shit. Yo, when the last time you been in Brownsville? Uh, maybe the last time where I forgot I could get murdered out there in two minutes. But yeah, I was out there a couple of weeks ago like a fool. You understand what I'm saying? But niggas will ch check up on you. Hey, have you been in... What I'm saying, like, bro, like, listen, my nigga, I don't come from those type. The community I come from, Brownsville, you out there because you got to be out there. I never really met nobody that said, I'm a buy. I feel like I'm a buy. I feel like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a put in for uh, Langston Hughes. You heard? I'm living in Park Slope right now. But let me put in for Langston Hughes, save a little bit of money. Listen, nigga, if you in Brownsville, nigga, you stuck out there and you trying to get the fuck out of there, bro. You understand? Or you so caught up in the neighborhood because you young, you don't even realize that you need to get the fuck up out of there before you die. You understand what I'm saying? So life expectancy in my hood, that shit is 10 times what it is in the average hood. It's 10 times lower than what it is in the average hood. So you understand what I'm saying? The bottom line is, my nigga, all of that corny, superficial, dumb shit, running around, stunting, hopping out, you know what I mean? Want to be in the hood spot. The hood, the hood eatery, the hood gambling spot, the hood. Man, fuck that, nigga. You want to be in the hood, stay in the hood, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? I'm in motherfucking Steven Spielberg mansion. We shooting dice in Steven Spielberg mansion. That's what I, that's where I want to shoot dice at. You feel what I'm saying? When my chain, if I feel like throwing a big chain on my neck, it's around a bunch of other motherfuckers who is used to wealth. And, and, and not gonna kill me for it. You understand what I'm saying? And even then, I have no urges to do that no more. Now, I mean, when I was a child, I think and spake as a child. When I became a man, I put the childish things aside. Says that in the Bible, Corinthians something, I think, I don't know. But bottom line is, my bros, it's a lot of bullshit out here, my nigga. Life is dumb short. Life is fucking unpredictable. You don't know what the fuck tomorrow holds. And, and, and that unpredictability, makes it makes it hard to give a fuck about anything sometimes like it's hard to give a fuck about anything when life is so unpredictable tomorrow call yo your cousin died like it's too unpredictable to to, to rest and relax and, and to just be sane like you feel what i'm saying especially when you're living in this city my nigga this city right here bro this shit killing motherfuckers son i just heard one of my one of my realest my realest young niggas that I ever knew. Son just son just died because he took a pill, bro. Because somebody gave him a pill and he took that shit and he died in his sleep in his bed, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And this dude was so intelligent and he was caught in them streets so hard. And the last time I spoke to the bro, he hit me up. He was like, yo, lads, man. He said, Joe, I'm too deep now. You heard? I'm too deep in these streets now, my nigga. I ain't even gonna hold you. Like he said, I, 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 I'm ashamed, but I'm too deep in the streets, bro. I said, son, listen, don't let them streets consume you, my nigga. You an intelligent motherfucker. You're a bright dude, son. Don't let these streets consume you, son. Get out before it's too late. And now I just got news. Son took a pill and died, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? These motherfucking pills out here? Them shits knocking niggas off like motherfucking. Fuck gangs. Fuck gangs and guns. Them pills is knocking niggas off, nigga. Left and right. If you popping them motherfuckers, you playing Russian roulette out this bitch. Every time you take one of these fucking Xanax or whatever the fuck it is niggas be popping, Percocets, Xannies, and Mollies and whatever the fuck niggas be popping on these streets. Every time you pop one of them shits, nigga, you playing Russian motherfucking roulette with two bullets and a five, a five bullet barrel, nigga. Every single fucking time, nigga. That's my word. 
I done heard about literally, man, since the pill craze really started popping. I done heard and knew of about 20 young motherfuckers and niggas that was too young to die drop dead fucking with them pills, my nigga. That's a motherfucking fact, my nigga. Niggas be popping them shits and dying. You heard? You are out here buying bootleg drugs that they're, them shits is imitation drugs. Yo, I got them zannies. Nigga, them shits ain't zannies. Them shits is a nigga out there that's an expert in pill, that got a pill making machine just like them niggas got. And they making their own Xanax with whatever cuts and ingredients them niggas fucking got. And you trusting that shit thinking it's the real deal because it's in a bottle. Nigga, you are playing Russian roulette with your motherfucking life, my nigga. Fucking with them pills, nigga. That fentanyl shit is in everything. That shit is out there, nigga. That shit is out there. You heard? That shit killing more motherfuckers than the Bloods and the Crips combined. And that's a fact. You feel me? So, man, if you fucking with that shit and you fuck with it recreationally, quit now, nigga. Because that shit is putting in work. That shit is putting in that dub in these streets, nigga. And it's hard to believe that that shit ain't something planned. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, fuck it, nigga. Kill these niggas off. You understand? Put a bad batch out there on purpose and kill these motherfuckers off. Fuck them. Because it ain't nothing but the thug and the gangster. Cr and I can't even say that. That's why white people dropping motherfucking dead all over the place, all through the suburbs. And cops is running around with anti-anti-fucking-OD, anti-overdose medication on them. And niggas wasn't doing none of that shit when it was crack. You heard? But when that shit start hitting them white communities, nigga, and motherfuckers dropping dead, yeah, they changed the laws out this bitch, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So shit crazy out here, my nigga. And I ain't no perfect nigga. My health, I need to listen, nigga. I'm scared of doctors. I need to face, I need to be a fucking man. Stop being a bitch and face my fears and go to the fucking doctor and get a checkup and get blood work done and all of that. But I'm scared, bro. I'm scared that them niggas gonna tell me I got three cancers and 12 tumors. You heard? I'm scared niggas gonna tell me you got dick cancer, nigga. You the only nigga in the United States. You got dick cancer. I, that's my fear. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm avoiding that shit. But I'm about to man the fuck up and stop being a bitch. And I'm about to go do that shit, bro. You heard? Real talk. Big Dice was populating. My nigga Venom, what's really good, my bro? Deal with the TV, what's really? Q's Town, what's poppin'? Harry O, what's really? I know, man. Shit crazy, bro. G Gandania, what's really good? Michael Davis, what up? Trap Wolf Beats, what's populating? Romy 16, what up? Dota Shoe Pro, what up? Steve Howes, what up? American Lynx, what's popping? Kev Tyson, what's really? Review Report, what's popping? What time is it? I don't want to go over and miss the premiere. All right, we got 15 minutes. Queen Lotus, what's really good? Orlando Soprano, what's popping? E Bell, Zoom Man X. Yeah, that being outside shit is played out, my nigga. Fuck outside, nigga. Fuck outside, nigga. Niggas be talking about, yo, nigga, I be, nigga, I don't give a fuck about outside. Fuck outside, nigga. Outside, I had you inside, nigga. 23 and 1. You heard? Outside, I had you inside, 23 and 1. Remember that shit, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Once you get to a certain age, you got motherfucking kids, nigga. I got kids I got to motherfucking feed and bathe and take care of, nigga. I ain't got no motherfucking options to play around with my freedom and go to jail. I ain't going to be hanging around in the streets with some motherfuckers that's under federal indictment and they don't even know about it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm on the block with them niggas while they, they, they car parked up, parked up with 12 bricks in it. And I'm on the block chilling with them niggas. You get nabbed up and caught up in that shit, nigga. Niggas ain't taking your kids to school, nigga. Niggas ain't taking your kids to school, nigga. Straight up. You heard? Niggas don't know how to prepare the meals that your kids like, nigga. Your kids gonna be hungry than a motherfucker. You locked up, know what I mean? Because you was outside with some niggas. Fuck these niggas, my nigga. 
Let's fucking talk, my nigga. Give a fuck about the, I don't give a fuck how about, listen, I'm at that age in my life, I don't give a fuck how nobody feel about none of my moves and what I do. You understand? I told y'all niggas, I seen a billionaire one day, nigga dropped the biggest jewel in his, in, in, I ever heard. The billionaire, he's nigga a straight billionaire. Nigga said, yo, he said, I don't own a cell phone. He said, I don't own a cell phone. He said, because when you have a cell phone, you know, people start making you live their life instead of your life. Yo, can you take me over here? Yo, can you do this for me? Yo, can you send me this? Yo, um, I need you to look up some shit for me. Before you know it, half of your time here on earth is being spent doing shit for other motherfuckers. You, and you're not even getting your own shit accomplished. That nigga said, that's not freedom. Freedom is not 300 family members and friends got your number and could call you at any time and, and, and disturb your peace at any time. That is not being free. That's not being free. That is being a slave to the world and other people's problems and circumstances. You feel what I'm saying? So this nigga said, I don't have a phone. He said, the people I want to reach out to, I reach out to those people. What's up, Dan? How you doing today? I felt like calling you. He said, niggas don't reach out to me. You understand what I'm saying? Because if everybody could reach out to me, my phone would never stop ringing and I would never get nothing done and I would never have no peace. Yo, this person died. That person died. Yo, you got to come here. You got to come near. Yo, you ain't coming here. Yo, you're not going to go there. You're going to hear that all day, every day, bro. And you're going to live your life for other people instead of yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas is going to take your freedom away from you. You understand? So sometimes, my nigga, you got to turn all of that shit off, nigga. You heard? Jesse, appreciate you. Jay Payne was popping. Her ball was popping. We human out here, my nigga. Ain't none of us perfect. But you ain't none of us perfect, bro. We all still learning. No matter who you are, you still on this planet learning, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? We learning each and every day. Know what I mean, what to do, what not to do, we still learning, bro. A lot of us is playing catch up, too. Because a lot of us was in that penitentiary learning nothing but penitentiary lifestyles and, and the world of the pen. And we wasn't learning society. We wasn't learning... uh social we wasn't learning how to socialize with people society we fucked up in the head you feel what i'm saying so we still playing catch up on how to be a motherfucking how to be normal basically how to be fucking normal i mean that's our strive i'm striving just to be a normal motherfucker some normalcy i told you when i went to fresh air fun back in the days the illest shit about fresh air fun that i remember is the town of tenafly new jersey right beautiful town Beautiful town in New Jersey, right? Not far at all from New York. Beautiful town. So, boom. I remember being out there. I don't know what's going on out there nowadays because I ain't been out there. I mean, I haven't hung out there in a long time. But the beautiful thing about Tenafly, New Jersey is when I used to be a kid in Fresh Air Fun, it was it was, it was was spoken about that it was one death in a town that, that the town could possibly remember. It was one death. And I was a kid who had got hit by a car. And... That was the last death in the last 20 years when I was there. And I remember people saying that, like, there is no deaths in Tenafly. The only death we ever had was a kid who got hit by a car, and that was 20 years ago. And the whole town was sh shocked and traumatized. And I remember being a kid saying to myself, damn, I want to live in a town where nobody dies, where if somebody does die, it's fucking shocking. I don't want to live in a town where a motherfucker die, niggas is stepping over their body like, excuse me, I got to get to work. You heard motherfucker get hit by a train, niggas be like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm going to be late for work now. You feel me? Nigga dead in the tracks. That's New York. You feel what I'm saying? And these all, all these major cities. So it's like, bro, I don't want my kids growing up desensitized to death like that. I'm driving my kid to school. We hearing 1010 wins and shit. She hearing about three mother drowned three of her kids at Coney Island. Like people hear this shit so much, they like Neg another day, another death in this motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, nigga, nigga, your kids deserve to grow up in a Tenafly, New Jersey, where one death makes the news for 20 years, bro. You heard? 
that's that's where a motherfucker's supposed to be living in a place where life expectancy is high not low you feel me so shit crazy my nigga shit is crazy out here sam c was populating berserk that's a fact berserker that's a fact ace boogie was really good amp up what up darius ellis was really good stainless poverty was popping Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Every fucking day out here is some fucking bad news, my nigga. It's fucking rough out here. That's why niggas got to keep... I got to keep putting out this fucking content that really means something, nigga. Straight up. You know what I mean? Young dude hit me up the other day. He was like, yo, lads, man, I'm a young dude that's tuned in, man. You heard? Another dude hit me up. He was like, yo... I listen to so much stories on your page, bro, on your channel. So many different niggas telling their jail stories. He said, that shit made me rethink what I want to do in life. He said, because I was starting to drift into the streets saying, yeah, this shit real. And he said, after I watched some stories on your channel for a couple of months, he said, I'm like, uh, I don't know if I want to go down this road. I think I'm going to get into something else. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what we doing with this motherfucking channel, my nigga. You heard? Fuck what you heard Because a lot of niggas They new to this channel And they see a couple of You know Murderous stories And they think I'm just on here Putting out murder shit Nah my nigga I'm out here Putting out niggas Life stories my nigga That's movies That Hollywood And HBO And them niggas Need to be hollering at me For content And that's a fact You feel what I'm saying I'm a hood nigga So it's gonna take a lot longer You heard But if I wasn't a hood nigga Putting out this type of content I have seven type of motherfucking television companies on my on my phone, my nigga. You heard? Niggas be racist a lot of times. Niggas be scared to fuck with niggas from the hood that cre that's, that write and create content. You heard? Like a, a wise man told me a long time ago that I knew in the music business. He said, yo, get into Hollywood, right? And he said, check the scoring. He said, it is so much money in scoring, right? Venom, you know who told me this, Venom. He said, yo, it's so much money in movie scoring, right? Like when, when you're watching a movie and it's bim, 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 with just scoring, not, not playing songs. That's a soundtrack. We're talking about scoring, right? He said, yo, there is no black, there is hardly any, if not any, none, no black scoring people because they feel the, the racist, the racist movie industry feel that black people are not intelligent enough to be able to listen to a film and know exactly what, what music that shit needs. So they always put that job in the hands of old ancient scorers that been around Hollywood for a hundred years. And they never give nobody no opportunities to score, no black people and no, and, and no new age people no opportunities to score movies like that because it is super money in that shit. Niggas win Oscars for scoring a film. You feel me? So basically niggas be cuffing all of the scoring jobs in the music industry, I mean, in the movie industry. You feel me? And it's the same thing when you're a black creator on YouTube. And I'm going to tell you, even YouTube had some type of a questionnaire, right? They had some type of questionnaire where they're asking, um, they're trying to find out who's black creators. And I can't remember everything that was in the questionnaire, but I was kind of offended by some of the shit that they was asking me, like my income and where I live and like it was just like a little bit I'm like yo damn because it was a it was a, a survey you had to fill out to possibly qualify for a fund that YouTube was giving black creators you feel what I'm saying and I was reading the shit and I just said yo I can't I can't finish I can't finish filling this shit out I feel like I'm I'm at the masses house like massa I cleans good uh 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 I cooks good uh, a bell's cotton good. That's how I felt. You feel me? Like I'm sitting here telling me, begging these niggas. Like I said, I couldn't do it. So what black creators go through, what black creators go through, bro. You got it. It's hard to it's hard to understand, my nigga, unless you going through it. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like nigga, we the underdogs, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So unless you got a super connect. That one, and then niggas would be scared to pull you in 
because niggas think you you gonna outshine them because a lot of us is always in competition with each other. I know niggas that I knew for years and they had all type of connects, like video game connects, where they was getting twenty, thirty thousand dollar checks from video game companies. Niggas never shared those connects, nigga. Cause they ain't want another nigga to get a check and they don't get a check. You heard nigga like, man, nigga ain't never getting this video game connect. I, it was a lot of niggas that had connects like that. But niggas was getting 20, 30,000 HBO shit showtime. Niggas cuffing them shits like a motherfucker, nigga. Keep locked. You heard? Niggas ain't sharing them connects and bringing each other in. But white people? Them niggas open the doors for, for each other in this business. You understand what I'm saying? Straight up and down. But us, nigga, we get in the game. It's like, shh, don't tell, don't tell nobody else that they are uh, signing Negroes over here. You feel what I'm saying? And that's how these niggas is, my nigga. So as a black creator, shit rough out this bitch. Yes. But um, 10 o'clock, man, that new episode is dropping. Let me check the time. Four minutes, man. Four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. You heard? Real talk. VR, what's populating? Riz Worth, what up? Shit, I'm about to stop smoking weed, nigga. They might start putting some shit in the weed, nigga. I'm good. You gotta be careful who you buying weed from nowadays out this bitch. Connecticut Black, what's popping? See you in the building. King Sun Rob, what's popping? Bean Town, what's really good? DM, what up? Yeah, broskies. That new episode is dropping. That new episode is dropping. Um, in another two, three minutes. I need y'all, I need all 144 chosen that's in here right now to just murder that uh comment. Hit them comments up. You feel what I'm saying? Share that shit to Facebook. You heard if you still on Twitter, tweet that shit. Do it all, bro, because we ain't trying to play no games out here. We trying to win. We gonna win. We gonna fucking win. We're winning. We've won. We've won. That's how you got to speak on this shit. We've won. You heard? We just waiting for the fucking world to catch up on us. But we've won, my nigga. You feel me? And trust me, like I said, whenever I'm quiet, storm is coming. So I'm about to drop a bomb on y'all motherfuckers. Real talk, my nigga. Crazy shit. So, um, y'all dudes, make sure y'all tear them comments up. Make sure y'all tear them likes up, bro. We gonna go crazy. Brooklyn, Le Brooklyn Legend Food Corn in the building. What's poppin'? Jaxo, what's really good? Missed your call, bro. Gotta holler at you. Been going through all type of shit, my nigga. My phone been off all type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Oh yeah, my niggas. East New York chain gang, I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you, my brother. Happy birthday to my nigga Big Dice, man. Shout out to Big Dice. You heard? My bro Big Dice just hit that. Hit that big one. You feel what I'm saying? That's the bro. Tell Dice he gotta stop cuffing those stories, man. You heard I seen somebody just say, yo, Dice, we need some more of them stories. Dice be cuffing them stories, you heard? But it's going down out here, bro. You know what I mean? But yo, it's 10 o'clock. Let's run down on this premiere, my nigga. This premiere is popping, Marcy Memoirs. This is part three. You heard? It's crazy. Let's run down on that. Mark A. Lewis, what's popping? 